They have one hairdresser got $80,000 on a six-month claim. Captain George Barisic manoeuvres his boat, the death of me, towards the oyster grounds near open waters. He says BP's 2010 oil spill could well be the death of his oyster business. His catch is down 93% from previous years. See all these boats that are tied up right now with the shrimp boats and the oyster boats? A pretty day like this, the tide's high. Typically we'd be out working either the state grounds you know, or our own private grounds, but there's nothing to catch. Most of these oysters are dead or have been discarded by other fishermen. There aren't enough good ones worth selling. The problem is, is you catch 20, 30 sack a day right now, you're getting $30 a sack, but the fuel's going to cost you $300. So it doesn't really pay to go. There's not enough volume. This is, this is a volume. George's biggest worry is the lack of young oysters. This rock should be covered. He says it's been particularly noticeable since the BP oil spill. What is the only variable in these last three years is dispersed all. Same thing with the shrimp, the crabs, and the fish. So it's been almost three years since the Deepwater Horizon disaster in which 11 men died and the Gulf of Mexico was polluted with millions of litres of crude oil. Last year, BP settled criminal charges and paid a record $4.5 billion fine to the US Justice Department. This week, a civil case against BP, Halliburton and Transocean is getting underway in New Orleans, brought by the federal government and the Gulf states seeking economic and environmental damages. The heart of the case is really quite straightforward. Who was to blame? What's the apportion of that blame? And was it negligence or gross negligence? The difference between those last two being around $15 billion. Uh, Law professor Blaine Lassen says all the hallmarks of gross negligence appear to be in place. You have uh, allegedly uh, financially motivated decision making. Uh, you have, again, allegedly some level of indifference uh, towards the dangers with which they were confronted at various steps in the process of constructing, uh, maintaining, and uh, cementing this well. Back at sea, and Captain George has found what he's been looking for. This, this gives you some hope. If it was all dead and no babies at all, you know, it'd be, be, be a more depressing situation than it is already. Now he's just hoping the federal government and the states win their case and use the cash to revitalize the wetlands he loves and depends on. John Terrett, Al Jazeera, New Orleans.